Welcome back to another episode of Killer Kestrel's Tutorials. Okay guys, in this episode, as you can see, what I've already done is just uh, create a bit more space for myself here. Alright, we are currently on day two, as you can see. Alright, so in this episode guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through some mining basics, alright? We've got some food, we've got some torches, and we've got some ladders, okay? Obviously, now, <coughs> I haven't showed you how to make ladders yet. I will run through that with you in just a second, because I do need a few more, okay? And what I've also done is upgraded some tools. So I've got an iron pickaxe, an iron axe, stone sword, because I didn't have enough uh, iron, as it goes, okay? So what we're going to do, guys, is I'll show you how to make these ladders. What you do is you grab some sticks, right, and you just plop them in your crafting table like so okay now i am going to show you a fast effective way of mining okay it is called a d compact diamond mine now the compact diamond mine is not my idea it's not my invention all right it was actually someone else's that i found on youtube a while back what i'll do is put a link to the description um sorry a link in the description to this video uh for that particular video to give honorable mention to the person who actually came up with it okay so what we're going to do, as you can see here, after digging a little space in our hidey hole, or our killer cave, as I like to call it, what we did is I took out a two block space, three blocks back, okay, so you got two blocks here, yeah? And what you're going to do is you're going to put your ladder down here on this one, like so, okay? Because when you mine, guys, when you mine, you don't want to mine directly underneath you. If you do that, then you will end up... Um, <clears throat> probably falling into some very nastiness of horrible things you can fall into lava you can fall into a lot of other random stuff all right um <clears throat> as you can see there is some coal there i'll come back and get that at a later point off camera but for now for tutorial purposes i'm not going to bother okay i'll just cover that up right what we want to do guys is we want to press f3 to bring up our coordinate location okay so if i press escape so you can see where my mouse is over here where my mouse is you got the x y and z coordinate now they are in that order so you got x there y in the middle and z at the bot end okay what you want to be doing is you want to be going to y axis level 9 okay for this so we want to follow that the number 61 we want to go all the way down to level 9 which is why we need a lot a lot of ladders okay now i think i may have enough i may need a few more but they're easy enough to get you just get some wood and turn it into sticks as i've already shown you to go up okay but what we will do is just dig a bit down put some ladders up make sure we don't run out okay and what we also need to do guys is we need to light our way down all right i will take f3 off and because <coughs> obviously no one wants to really see it too much all right but the reason you take the block out in front of you is so that you if you do come across lava or a cave or something like that you'll be better prepared for it okay now i should have bought a shovel because this dirt is going to annoy me but there we go and oh that hit onto the iron one there we go. lovely okay so so we're hitting <coughs> certain levels. So we will go back up with our, our little ladders. Little ladders going all the way up. And I will show you a safe way of doing this as well, guys. Okay. This is the safest way of mining down to level 9. But when you come back up, what you want to do is um, come up your ladder and fall down your ladder. And place blocks on the secondary platform. So it would be on this side. Okay. In between all your torches. Your torches still give off of the same amount of light. Okay. But... What you want to do is <coughs> have it so that the torches light up your way, but you can't fall down that section. So it's a lot safer for you, okay? Uh, that is just simply so you don't accidentally fall off your ladder, fall down. I've done it several times, all right? You will fall down and hit your death okay because bear in mind we started at level 61 all right now we are currently at level 27 so that'll be 26 25 24 all of that lovely jubbly stuff all right let's put some more ladders up see how many we've got left oh we've got eight so we are going to need to get some more wood or some more sticks i actually have a stockpile of more wood because i went out and got some more because i knew what i was doing in this tutorial and i don't want my tutorials to be too long video length okay 
<coughs> so, da, 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 all the way down, 17, so we've hit 17, and we're out of ladder. So, let's go all the way back up. As you can see, it, it does create a very, very vast tunnel, okay? And, yeah, you can hold shift on a ladder and you stay directly still, all right? Um, <coughs> but we'll get to that a bit later, because, obviously, these empty spaces between the torches, we will have to cover up. I may well do it off camera. Oh, maybe I don't have enough wood. Let's go get some wood quickly, guys. Let's go get some wood. Okay, where's the tree? Tree, tree! Give me trees! Okay. Yep, yeah, I got an iron pick. I do apologize for any lag that appears in the game. Um, obviously, it's kind of out of my control. Uh, it is probably because I'm recording at the same time. <coughs> and my computer needs upgrading. I will be honest about that. It does need upgrading. And I can experience the lag myself. Hopefully, I might be able to edit it out. Um, but we will have to wait and see on that one. So any lag that is in the game, guys, I do apologize for, okay? Okay, so let's grab some more ladders. 18 is more than enough. Right, and I have lagged completely, so I do apologize, guys. There we go. Sorry about that. I'll probably cut that bit, actually. <laughs> Just simply because, well, it shortens the video. And down we go, down, down we go, down we go, down, down, down. We go. La, 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 all the way down. Right, okay, so a few more out of here. Let's go all the way to level 9 now, guys, okay? So here we go. Keeping up, keeping up, keep them going. And luckily, position wise, we haven't actually hit any, well, any bad stuff. So we haven't hit any ravines or, which generally does happen to me actually. I will be honest with you. Okay, so now we're at the bottom, guys. What we'll do is one, two, three, four. Okay, so that is the fourth block. All right, what you want to do is you want to go from the ladder. One, two blocks that way. Okay, as you can see, we've got a bit of redstone here. We've got a bit of iron here. Always helpful. <coughs> Take out four from each side, okay, and then you want to go one, two, three, and you want to dig out this whole little area, just like so, and this idea, guys, this diamond compact mine is amazing, honestly, try it, I got addicted to it as soon as I tried it, alright, it is a very fast, very efficient way of not only finding diamonds, but finding a lot of other resources as well, plus the fact that you're in an enclosed refined space that you've created yourself, okay, makes it so much more efficient because you're not constantly being attacked by mobs, you're not constantly having to worry and watch your back all the time or anything like that, okay, so it does make it very efficient. Okay, so what we do guys is, as you can see, we've gone one, two, three, four high, and where the ladder is, you go two back, okay, and then one behind the ladder, you take out here, okay, so you have your four block, all right? Now, put a torch on the second block in, okay? And then over to the left, uh, left hand side, right hand side, and the south side, okay? You wanna go two blocks in of four high, just like so. I will maybe possibly be putting this into two segments, okay? But this is just a quick tutorial just to show you how the compact diamond mine works and then I will probably do some mining before I go on to create in the third video just so I've got some more resources so if you wish to carry on with the diamond mine feel free guys feel absolutely free it is no big problem at all okay now with these ones guys the one with the ladder at the north and the one opposite at the south okay they literally the tunnels literally stay as they are okay so what you want to do <coughs> is dig as far back as you want okay either way doesn't matter and the same with the east and west corners all right what you want to do guys is make it so that you can dig out from your torch okay uh you go like that right so you've got your torch here i'll just demonstrate here you go three so that's one two three and then what you do is you just place another torch down okay every third block place a torch down the torches are for the simple reason that on the east and west sides what you do is you dig single tunnels like so okay and you start your torches at the third run like so all right and you just keep going up because this block here and this block here is shown up by this tunnel this block here is shown up by this tunnel here okay and it is the same on the other side guys exactly the same on the other side okay so it's just like so and we've got a bit of redstone there all right just like so obviously when you take ores out you want to replace the ore you find with cobblestone okay 
And as you can see, there is plenty of ore here to be found. Plenty of ore to be had, okay? But what I do at the bottom, guys, just so you can see, as you notice, you would have noticed that I have made some crafting tables, some chests, and some furnaces to bring down, okay? Now, what you do is take out these blocks here in the center at the bottom, okay? And what you do is you place a crafting table in it. <coughs> um, crafting table in the corner. Two furnaces this side. Okay. So we've got a bit of coal and a bit of iron. So we'll just do that for a second. While that's smelting, what I'll do is we, we will put a crafting table there. But obviously without the, yeah. It is, it, without the redstone in it might be advantageous um having wood handy is always a good idea guys because obviously you need sticks to create tools and the longer you're down here the more stuff you're going to create okay that's the reason that we actually have our um oh achievement um yeah that's the reason we have everything with us okay um it's simply efficient okay so you take out the external area like so you place a chest this side you'll place two chests this side place a crafting table in each corner and then on either side you've got your furnaces okay so you can smelt as you go and you can store everything as you go so stuff like your stone can all go into one and spare ladders can go into it like so okay into your other one you can have all your precious ores your diamonds your redstone your gold iron whatever whatever you feel that you want to put in there you can okay and as you can see got that sorted all right now i'm not sure how we're doing time wise hopefully we're not doing too badly time wise shouldn't imagine that we are okay so i'll do a bit more mining see what we can find hopefully we'll get some diamond if we don't it's not a problem just keep going with the mine and i promise you guys i do promise you you will find those diamonds all right this is a very very efficient mine okay so as you can see we've got two large chests one for well yeah it's 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 good all right so let's put our iron over here and let's create a few more torches you have to keep it lit up guys because otherwise monsters can spawn and obviously we don't want that okay so all i'm gonna do <coughs> just to carry on i've demonstrated how it all works all right every third block where your torch is is where your new runner will be okay because that block is covered by that hole this block will be covered by this hole okay and the same onward and upward as you go down all right now you can take these as far back as you like you can make it as long as you like it doesn't matter you may even do what i do and run into some um <coughs> ravines and some other cave systems at the end of the day it doesn't really make a difference you can always plug up the holes it's absolutely fine i've even had it where my combat diamond mine has ended up leading me to a um uh sorry <laughs> got a bit brain dead there has led me to a dungeon and if we can find a dungeon if i can find a dungeon i will find a dungeon guys and i will show you what to do with xp farming dungeons all right obviously this blue stuff here is lapis lazuli and lapis is very handy it's one of our precious ores so we want to collect all of that and just do what i do let just seal it all back up so it's all nice neat and compact you don't have to worry about absolutely anything guys all right absolutely anything you won't get any mob spawning unless you leave it too dark okay and you don't want to leave it too dark because obviously you don't want the hassle um at the end of the day for me there are many different ways of mining you can this is a form of strip mining um there's also various other ways i mean you can dig a staircase down to level nine and then dig in straight lines and then branch mine off of that um but for me this is the most efficient way of mining i have found okay and if you get bored on this level what you can do is go up the ladder okay and as you go up the ladder you can go up by like two levels i will show you you can <coughs> so you go up your ladder and obviously you press shift to hold your ladder down okay but what you can do is you can go from this and you can dig out another section here okay another four by four section just like so on this level here 
all right um and then you can block off a little pop part where that torch is uh so you can step onto it from the ladder and then you can mine up here as well so you can mine on various different levels all right but starting from level nine is probably your most efficient way of doing it so you count three, one, two, three, one, two, three. See, perfect. And then you find the torch and you just dig four and keep going. That's all this is, guys. It's a very quick tutorial, very nice, very simple way to go. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Like I said, I will be carrying on with some mining. I will grab a lot of ore, a lot of um, resources to use in my next video, guys. Okay. And in the next video, <coughs> I will teach you how to do armor basics. And I will also, and I will also, sorry possibly show you a bit of combat training okay but i'm not too sure if i will go into combat training or if i'll leave that till episode four but we will see what happens and see what sort of time frame we have and everything else because when it comes to armor there are multiple different forms of armor and not only that but there are there's a certain armor that you can use dyes for so i will have to collect some dyes as well okay but for now guys i hope you've enjoyed my video Sorry about that, I have no idea what happened there. <laughs> Twitch randomness. And I dropped a torch. Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. I do apologize. And as me waving goodbye, have a lovely time, guys. And please, if you like the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you later.